Okay guys, today we will be testing the strength of paper and see how many kilograms it can hold. Just look at this. Look how much, look how heavy that is. And it's held, held by paper. Now you might be wondering what makes this paper, what makes paper so strong? It's because um, I put them, uh, I made them into pillars like this that allow them to take more weight, to carry more weight and not break. You see this flimsy little paper with that folding is really flexible and weak. But when we condense it into this small pillar, it'll become much more stronger. All you need to make the pillars is this A4 sheet of paper, some tape, and a scissor. So like this, first fold it into half like this, and then fold it into one fourth pieces like this, and then fold it again into eights. So now you should be left with eight rectangles and the creases you just made. Now the reason why you made the creases was to cut the rectangles out. So the reason why you cut the piece of paper into eight rectangles was because you, you could roll them up and then use the tape to stick the pillar, to so stick the papers together. So you can make this pillar. And then each of these rectangles will be a pillar after you roll them up. So you have to roll each of the papers, each of the pieces of paper, like this. So it'll create a pillar, like this. And then you have to use the tape to tape it and make sure it stays like a pillar. So now that we taped and rolled each of the eight pieces, let's go test them out. Now what we need to do is put them on the floor and then space them evenly out. Like this. For now, we'll just use six pillars to keep this tray on. So now that we got the tray set up, let's just put this box of rice on it and let's see if it holds up. So it's so it holds up. It's not pretty surprising. Although the ba box of rice is pretty heavy, it's 700 grams. The box of rice. I expected the paper to hold up. Let's see how far it can go. Next, let's let's put this book, the science experiments book, on top of the bag of rice, and let's see if it holds up. You have to be really careful in doing this because you don't want to move the tray too much because the it'll 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 put the pillars out of balance. So you can see that it's still holding up and let's see what we'll put next. I found a pile of books and let's put them on top of the pile that we have so far. It still holds up. Honestly, I have to say I'm a little surprised now. That's like one, two, three, four, five, six, six things, not including the tray, on top of paper. Who'd have thought that paper was so strong? Anyway, let's keep on going. Now let's put this um, weighing machine on top of this to add to this pile. I am really surprised. I'd say this has to this has to weigh totally about 10 kilograms, and it's all supported by paper. Wow. Now let's add some another pile of books to the pile. You can see this pile is getting really big. Let's also let's add some orange juice and some milk to the mix. Wow, this is a huge pile. I wonder how much it weighs. Let's put it on a weighing machine. All right, now I took the pile apart. Let's put this box of rice that was the first in the pile. You can see it weighs about, weighs about two and a half kilograms. And now let's add the book, science experiment book and the pile of books. So after we added the pile of books, we get to about six kilograms. So all of this, it's not even half of the pile, it's six kilograms. We obviously can't measure the weight of the weighing machine, so we'll have to um, exclude that from the uh, actual mass of the entire pile. So let's just skip to the pile of books. It weighs about 8 kilograms, 9 kilograms as you can see. Let's see how much it'll weigh with the 3 extra cartons of um, milk and orange juice. 
All right, guys, this is all right, guys. This is getting a little bit unstable. So let's quickly find out what the mass of this whole pile is. So it seems to be about 12 kilograms, 12 and a half kilograms. Wow, this just six pillars with one sheet of A4 paper, not even one sheet of A4 paper carried 12 and a half kilograms. That's just mind blowing. Imagine what you could do with a hundred pillars. Could it carry you? Wow, that is just some crazy stuff you did with just six pillars. Anyway, if this get if this video gets 35 likes and if the channel gets 50 subscribers before the end of February, then I will attempt to stand on the pillars using this tray. So if you guys want to see that, just make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching.